Some Southern Illinois business owners hope to benefit from the new law. I think uh, some, maybe some of the locals that are, you know, having to go all the way to Metropolis uh, would maybe come down here, like I said, and, and uh, gamble here instead of going there. But that won't be the case in Carbondale. While they may not exactly agree with expanding gambling, three out of seven Carbondale City Council members saw no reason to ban it. Well, I think that gambling is really stupid. Uh, gambling bans are only slightly more stupid. The state has allowed it uh, in other parts of the state. I think us making the decision not to allow it here in town, um, you know, maybe putting some of our businesses and organizations is at a disadvantage. But the majority of members think it's a bust. I consent that that is a likelihood that some would benefit, but I'm not sure that the community would benefit overall from uh, from allowing video gaming at this point. City and county leaders have plenty of time to decide if they'll allow the payouts. Many are taking their time. No decision has been made yet. Officials in Mount Vernon expect the machines to bring in about a hundred grand a year. There are so many areas of the city that uh, need improvement, infrastructure, um, roads, water, sewer, so we could certainly use the revenue off of that. And some say that cities who are happy to accept money from the state for construction projects should also be willing to help raise revenue. If we decide that um, gambling is not appropriate for Carbondale, which maybe it's not, uh, I wonder if it's appropriate for us to accept money from gambling that's generated in other parts of the state. 